please allow me to share some schizophrenia facts with you. This is part of BC Schizophrenia Society's Bust a Myth contest to raise awareness about schizophrenia and living with schizophrenia. So my first myth is going to be having schizophrenia is more dangerous than smoking tobacco. So when I was first in a psych ward way back in like early 2000s, one of the nurses told my mother that she shouldn't worry about me smoking tobacco, that the schizophrenia was worse for me than smoking tobacco, that nobody should worry about me smoking tobacco. Thankfully, I've quit now. Yes! But it took a while to overcome that myth. What are people talking about when a nurse in a hospital would tell a family member of a schizophrenic that they shouldn't worry about tobacco and the harms of tobacco. <laughs> well, it turns out in like the 80s or 90s, tobacco industry did a bunch of uh, pretty scummy research where they compared the one out of five schizophrenics who lose their lives to suicide caused more of a drop in life expectancy than tobacco typically did. Therefore, the tobacco industry said, don't worry about tobacco, schizophrenia is worse. Wrong. Hmm. Schizophrenics can still get sick, short of breath, cancer, all that. Having schizophrenia doesn't make you immune to tobacco, and it doesn't make tobacco not harmful to you. I busted this myth for myself years ago when I still smoked, and it just gave me another reason to hate the tobacco industry for everything they stand for. <sighs> Eventually, when I quit, I did so reassured that Tobacco wasn't better for me than something else. So that's my first myth. I'll keep it short. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna keep up with a few more myths as the days go on, because this is probably going to be fun and I like to raise awareness. So please share the video with the hashtag Schizophrenia Facts. And check out the BC Schizophrenia Society and the work they're doing. Thanks. Ugh, tobacco is gross.